This video is sponsored by Loop Deck. Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have another behind the scenes video and I will be using Manny Ortiz's beauty dish switch he made in collaboration with Westcott. I'm so excited for Manny and super excited to use this modifier. I got some awesome pictures and I can't wait to show you guys. Diana, looking hot. And there's money, you know, just there. <laughs> Here is a bit of info on the beauty dish. The modifier is 36 inch in diameter, and I chose the white interior for a softer look. It comes with the beauty dish deflector plate, and it has 16 rods that make this modifier really round and shallow, which makes it fit nicely into smaller space like my living room. It's super easy to set up and collapse, which is perfect for me because I hate complicated soft boxes. It feels really nice and high quality, which I wouldn't expect anything less from Westcott. I paired it with my Aperture Amaran 200D LED light. And for this first setup, I'm using my Kate Backdrop Collapsible Backdrop. I will link all equipment I'm using in the description. My model is Morgana, who is a super talented local photographer. Definitely check out her Instagram page and give her a follow. She is wearing a dress I found on Etsy. I will link it as well. And I added some dried flowers as a prop. I set my light higher and on the side to give me that side lighting, the classic Rembrandt look. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Mm hmm. Can we do some standing ones here? Yes, that's that is so gorgeous. Wow. Stay there. I'm gonna see if it looks better if I go a little bit higher. Make sure I don't. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Yes, 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 yes. I love this. Keep that pose, please. Yes, wow. I want to show you guys a bit of my editing process with these images. This portion of the video is sponsored by Loop Deck. If you're not familiar with Loop Deck, they make custom creative consoles to optimize creative workflow, whenever it's photo editing, video, audio, or live streaming. I got the Loop Deck CT console and I have been using it mostly paired with Photoshop. Their new updated software is super easy to use and comes with default profiles that give you a nice start to customizing your workspace. You can assign different functions to multiple buttons that Loop Deck CT has, the scroll wheel and the dials. You can also create multiple pages within your workspace and use the touch screen to switch between them. Once you found the action that you need, you can just drag it to the button you want to use it on. Uh, the software is very intuitive. You can also create custom actions with custom shortcuts, text and so much more. The customization on this thing is crazy. I have programmed my console to do the actions that take more than one click and the ones that I use all the time, like duplicate the layer, open liquify window, invert the layer mask, save for web. I also love using the scroll wheel to control the size of my brush, especially when I do dodge and burn. And I love using the dials for these tiny little adjustments on the uh, curve layer or the levels. 
I didn't expect to like Loop Deck City so much, but now I can't imagine editing without it. And I think it can be an amazing Christmas gift for a photographer. If you're interested, check out Loop Deck CT and other Loop Deck consoles by clicking the link in the description. You probably have noticed that I added some texture into the backgrounds of these images. I'm actually using the open source paintings from the mat. I have a full tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to use these paintings and how to replace the background with them to create these like very artsy images. So check that out. Finally, I did some color correcting in Luminar AI. I used my Studio Portrait template pack. I used the template called Muted Brown, did a little bit of adjustments to it. And here is the final image. For these next shots, I wanted to add more props. So we added this vintage brush and a mirror. In the other hand, you hold the mirror with the flowers, like, like behind it, like this. Yeah. Let's try. So don't think about it that like you're actually going to see yourself. Uh, bring it closer to you. Yeah, and then, yeah, yes. Oh my God, this looks like a painting. Wow, stay like that, stay like that. Suck. It's fluffing up the hair, don't making like really vague. That's really good. Yeah, it's, oh my God, I love it. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, do like that straight, just kind of like looking at me, yeah. And like chin down more. Stay like that. there here I'm just trying to put some strands of her hair behind her ear to show off some of the uh, beautiful pearl earrings okay yes 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 oh my god <gasps> stay like that literally don't move just eyes at me I don't have the behind the scenes for this particular image because the battery died, but it's probably my favorite from the set. For the second look, I switched the background for this black one and we added a table that's an old DIY project of mine. It's just a bunch of old wood made into a panel. I wanted to add some more props, so I gave Morgana some dried wheat to hold in her hands. Uh, the shirt she's wearing is vintage. I actually thrifted it a while ago in Germany. And for the lighting, we are doing pretty much the same setup. Yes. Yes, that's so beautiful. Oh I know, it's not very stable. <laughs> that's so gorgeous. Yeah, I needed something. I always prefer to have like a little prop. I 
I decided to replace the background on these images as well and this is the painting that I used from the mat. It's called Grape Vines and Fruit with Three Wagtails. What if you like put some of them on the here and then you hold some of them? So like you can even hold them here with your hand down. Uh, no, no, so this one you put how you were, oh. this hand you kind of like hold them as well. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Oh, wow, that's really good. Yes, I love that. I love that. And look at me here. Yes. I then decided that we needed more props, of course, so I added some of the oranges that we had and some more dried flowers and this little ornate bottle. Oh yeah, that's. I think that's better with like more stuff. Yeah, it looks more like a painting. Uh, grab this just lower so it's like close. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at me here. Beauty. Well, what if you like kind of as if you like playing with one of the oranges like you know but like with um like yeah 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 but look at me when you do it yeah mm -hmm. and straighten out a little bit more yes yes there we go that's perfect yeah do the kind of like oh like you're so bored and you have to like play with these oranges For these last few shots, we were just doing very simple setup, no props, and close-up portraits. Give me like maybe one ear. Or you know what? Like like that, but then keep like the few little like shorter hairs in the front. Yeah. I don't know where the shorter hairs are. Here, like here, over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So just wrong. literally like that, and then keep it just a little bit more under your ear. Yeah. Yes. Turn towards me just a little bit. I'll grab it just a little bit off your ear, uh, off your eye. Yes, 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 yes. Oh wow, that looks so good. Wow, I love it. Let's try the other side, like if you turn more towards this side, towards the light. Yes, oh, that's really gorgeous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's perfect. So this is it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know which picture was your favorite and if you're planning on getting Manny's beauty dish switch, uh, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye!